Veteran observers will recognize the JPL orbital diagram for Comet Ison. We've been waiting for an update since the Mars pass, and now we have it. This diagram was updated yesterday, October 14, 2013. There are some significant, albeit slight, changes to the expected trajectory and timeline of the comet. We'll center the comet in the frame, come in to start checking the important dates, the first of which, the day it passes over Earth's orbital trajectory. We are still looking at the beginning of November there, with a punch through Earth's orbital plane four days later. This proximity is the cause for worry about the trailing debris coming into our path. Then we come to perihelion, the close approach to the Sun. We'll zoom in and go hour by hour. Close approach here does have nearly identical distance skimming above the solar surface. Then we come to the real major change. After a tilt to look down directly from the north, we see that we no longer have a nearly perfect pass over the north pole of Earth just before New Year's. The comet is still going to cross over our trajectory at that time. The comet is expected to leave closer to its general incoming direction, however, at least from this perspective. Earth should still get a great show if she lights up, and still passes through that incoming trajectory in mid-January. Our last big news was that the monopolar trajectory of Ison could be the reason it's not brightening. Only half of it gets sunlight and solar wind. This was the primary topic for this week's Fly on the Wall discussion on Comet Ison, and the source of that information was given in the October 12th news on this channel. So if you're not a website member, you still get all the facts we're discussing, as always. And as always, we'll keep watch. Be safe, everyone.